Happy 2019, guys. Good to see you. Hope you guys had a good holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that stuff. I had a great holiday, really relaxing. And I got this thing. It's like a surfboard with two wheels on him. Now, I like to get kind of weird things that force me to learn something new. I don't know, it always just kind of pushes me and, and keeps me, you know, trying to be a better person. Now that's not right, but you, you know what I mean. I'm always a firm believer that you gotta try something new, learn something new to really innovate yourself and to stay at the top of your game. Um, in this case, it would be this surfboard. The goal for today is to ride this surfboard thing that I've never ridden before and then do like a 360, I guess, like a turn and keep going. Not a lot of space, so we'll try it. I'm not exactly sure how to get on this thing, but. Take two. Better, I think I need more of a run up. How do you turn? I think you're supposed to swivel your feet to get more speed. Maybe I need more speed. Too much speed, too much speed. I think I figured out the turning. You gotta like. I got this, I got this. Champion surfer. 2018 was a pretty crazy year. I, I got some other Christmas presents also. Uh, it was a crazy year, but it was also more of a year of firsts for me. Uh, we started off with a trip to Sweden with Epidemic Sound, uh, first time being in Sweden, hung out with tons of cool people, went snowmobiling, dog sledding, went to the highest peak in Sweden in a helicopter, um, met Marcus Valera there, super cool guy, and also slept in a nice hotel with Peter in the honeymoon suite, uh, sharing the same bed. Also changed the channel name, that was really big. Um, the channel used to be called Travel Feels, now it's just Maddie Apoya. If you're new, you probably didn't even notice. But that was a big, scary decision for me at least. Got my first office, this space, uh, that was a big goal of mine for 2018. Of course, sharing it with my best friend, Peter McKinnon. Went to NAB for the first time in Las Vegas, which was crazy, just too much gear, but also probably the most fun part of it was just riding one wheels in the desert. Hired my first editor, actually my very first employee ever, which was a big goal also and another scary decision because now I have um, another mouth to feed. Responsibility. Side note, you're killing it, Matt. Thanks. Started filming my very first feature doc, which I've been dreaming about with the guys at Creative North. Met Potato Jet for the first time. His real name's actually Gene. Went to Lufthansa, Norway. Very first time I've been to Norway a bunch of times, but Lufthansa was insane and probably the most favorite of my trips. Um, yeah, we just had a really good time with my brother, Marcus, and Kim. Just awesome guys. Scandinavian goats for life. Went diving with sharks, that was interesting. Also fed sharks. First B-roll battle with Peter in Banff, also first time in Banff. Um, and then first time really liking a GoPro, GoPro Hero 7, uh, big ups. Then we went to Dubai, which was a whole bunch of firsts, uh, riding raptors through the desert, jet skis through the Persian Gulf, hot air balloons, quads through the desert. The whole trip was just insane. Uh, big thanks to Epidemic Sound for sending me on that one. Also had the longest birthday of my life. Um, when I left Dubai, it was 12 a.m. My birthday hit. Um, then we flew for 14 hours, but when I landed, it was only four or five a.m. So I had like an extra 10 hours for my birthday, a 34 hour birthday. So that was a first. Then to wrap up the whole year, I got to do something for the first time that I've always wanted to do and that was heliboarding and that was just way crazier than I would have ever thought. Actually, the craziest part of that was the whole helicopter thing. Uh, I guess that makes sense, but but I mean like the experience of watching the helicopter and all that. Snowboarding was amazing though too. Uh, best snowboarding ever. 
dang, it was just such a good year. And not to mention all the tutorials I made, like how to stabilize your shaky footage, or the reason I used the Steadicam, which I now retired and now I just use a gimbal, so that one's kind of irrelevant. Oh, and we hit 500K subs too. I think we're like 550,000 now, which is incredible, so another goal hit. I actually hit all of my goals for 2018, except for working with a nonprofit. Still looking for that, that perfect nonprofit to work with. Um, so if you uh, work at a big, legit, responsible nonprofit with a good reputation that I could back, um, let me know, email me. 2018 felt like such a crazy year for me at least, and all I've been seeing on Twitter is all these influencers and people saying things like, I can't wait for 2019, 2019 is gonna be so much bigger, uh, you have no idea the things that we have in store, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that's also one of the traps that a lot of people fall into, um, YouTubers included, is that we think that we need to always do bigger and better things. And sometimes that's actually not the best thing for you. You start doing bigger and crazier and bigger and crazier things. And next thing you know, your channel's not at all what it started out as. And, and you know, yeah, channels evolve. But in 2019, I really want to stick to the core values of my channel, the things that I've built this channel on, which is really just learn, make, and repeat. I want to make some really cool tutorials to teach you guys, to help you guys along in your filmmaking career. And I also want to make some courses, some really in-depth courses on specific topic subjects. Uh, so if there's a recommendation, feel free to comment down below and, and maybe I'll make a course on it. My goal is to make three courses this year. But I also wanna make more stuff. I think I've kind of neglected that part. I mean, I've made a lot of videos for YouTube, but I haven't really made things that I'm like, crazy proud of. You know those videos where somebody asks you, what's your favorite video that you've ever made? Um, I'm always kind of like, I don't, I kind of like this one. I, kinda, I want more of those videos that I can really be proud of and that I've really made for myself and that push my skills and my limits a little bit more because YouTube is, you know, I just do whatever I want. I don't really have any pressure. It's just me filming with this camera, but I want to do kind of like bigger, higher quality stuff, um, but still not neglecting uh, tutorials and my normal content. And with that, I also wanna collaborate with other people. I wanna work with more people, um, work with them, but then also showcase more people. So um, I have a good idea of what I wanna do to kind of combine making high quality content and collaborating, but um, uh, it's a work in progress, but I do want to make like three to five episodes of that series. And I'm just going to keep repeating that same process uh, myself, like I tell you guys. Um, that's what 2019 is really going to be about for me, focusing on what this channel is really about and helping you guys to be better filmmakers. And one of the hardest things in life is just sticking with something through the good, the bad, the hard, uh, the ugly, I, I guess that's that fits in there. The boring stuff, just like with anything else, YouTube can have all of those things at times. So I'm just really trying to get focused in on how can I do this in the long term. And that's why I'm trying to kind of streamline everything and get rid of all the excess stuff and just focus on my channel and what this channel is actually about and not get lost in the bigger and crazier stuff. Um, yeah, just like you guys, I want to love what I'm doing and also help you guys at the same time. I think that's kind of like the theme for 2019 for me. But there is one big goal that I also want to hit this year, and that's to reach 1 million subs. And that, that sounds crazy to me to say still. And uh, uh, there's a good chance I'll fail on this one, but I need something to really push me, to motivate me. Not that I need more subs, you guys are plenty, um, but I need something to push me, to motivate me, some sort of goal that I can then say, um, yeah, I did a good job. And with that, I'm also gonna spend less time on social media, which sounds weird because my career is kind of social media, but I wanna spend more time making, creating, hanging out with you guys and other friends um, instead of just scrolling through social media. I actually posted that I might delete my Facebook account. Feels kind of scary. I've been on Facebook since like the very beginning pretty much. Um, but I just don't use it. I don't enjoy it anymore. And the worst part about social media and just scrolling through all the time is that it's kind of paralyzing. It's demoralizing. It stops you from going out and creating a lot of times. You get down because you see other people's stuff and you're like, oh, I'm not that good. Or, oh man, that guy's doing something fun and I'm just 
here at my office chilling, your own life always seems a little bit more boring, a little bit more just uh, blah, you know? When you're consuming that social media and you're just seeing those highlights from thousands of people around the world, um, just their best moments, um, yeah, it just doesn't actually help me to be a better creator or to run a better YouTube channel a lot of the times. Going back to those people who are saying, I can't wait for 2019, 2019 is gonna be massive. There are also usually the people who are like, I'm so done with 2018, 2018 was the worst. People really only highlight all the good stuff in their lives and kind of wanna hype it up and want you to be a part of those good things, but we all have our down days, we all have hard things that we have to go through and we all have boring days in our jobs. Less social media for me personally. So with all that being said, happy 2019. Set some goals for yourself and I wish you all the best in 2019. Hustle hard, but know why you're hustling. That's really been kind of like a, a theme in my brain. Know why you're hustling. Don't just hustle for the sake of hustling. Okay, I'm off to film the first tutorial of 2019. Also, we're really close to 2020, which seems like the future, right? 2020 seems like a far off time, way in the future. It's kind of scary. Is it scary? It's kind of scary. Ooh, getting better at this. Also, we gotta get that thing up and running, the podcast with Peter. Uh, yeah, we're on it. Okay, go record. I'm getting it.